Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we are taking a look at Humphrey Decepticon's Breacher. Now you're probably wondering why am I taking a look at this figure? It's a much older figure. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I kind of felt like it. Uh, and number two, I promised someone that I would review this figure. I never did with Canadian Reviewer. I still might eventually, but I wanted to get at least a simple review out there. And I have to shout that person out because it's the same person that sent me this figure. It's Chris Vellner. I promised him a review, never did it, so now I'm doing it. Thank you so much, Chris, because this figure is actually pretty awesome. It's a Scout Class Transformer, which if you guys don't know what Scout Class figures are, it's kind of like the Legends Class that we've gotten right now. Not the Legion Class, like the Robots in the Sky stuff, but more like the, uh, the Legends Class that Generation seems to continue. And uh, this is pretty good, you know, I, I really like the detail, the aesthetics, it's actually got some nice paint applications. You know, it, it, it's not fully painted, like these bits right here could have been painted, but it, it's got enough paint for it. I, I think the detail is good enough for this that it doesn't need all the paint applications, it doesn't need to be highly decorated. And it's got enough paint applications. I mean, it's got the red for the lights on the back, which is pretty cool. Sometimes they don't paint the, the lights in the back. Sometimes they just leave them. They decide, hey, we're going to paint those. So that's pretty good. You get some silver right in here. You get some silver on the windows. You get uh, a couple of number 28s on the sides with the Autobot logos. As well, you get it on the front here. And you get a dark gunmetal, or it might be silver, but I think it's dark gunmetal. Uh, color right here. So there's a good amount of paint applications as well It's mostly blue as you can see now this figure was released for the Humphrey Decepticons toy line Which took place right after Revenge of the Fallen. It was kind of like almost like a sub theme to it or something I'm not sure I'm kind of confused by that But anyways, this guy was meant to go with sea spray and while I do have sea spray also Thank you to Chris Vellner um I have it in the back of my collection, in the back of my shelf, so I decided not to grab it. Basically, this guy would drive up to the back of it. You could pretty much get any Scout Class Transformer that is the right size to do that. So it's not incredibly special with Breacher, but considering uh, the military-type vehicles, and, uh, you know, I, I can see the play value in that, personally. So it, it's still pretty good. You also get a little turret on the top here, and the good part about the transformation is it doesn't really hinder the uh, rotation of the turret, so you still get that. And during this time, they really like giving those clips. In fact, this is one of those clip what? Uh, sorry, the uh, the clip weapons. So you can see the clip at the bottom there. It's attached to a ball joint. They did this as a system to attach weapons onto these little bars. And as you can see, it does it around the top there. I'm going to take that off because we are going to transform the figure. Now, the transformation is actually pretty complex for a Scout Class Transformer. I've kind of forgotten how to transform this, so just bear with me. The first thing you want to do, and by the way, this reminds me of like, if they ever want to do a Legends class onslaught, they should just re-release this figure, because this is actually pretty good. It reminds me of the Universe Classics onslaught. Anyways, what you want to do is open up these little bits on the side, and then you take the back section right here and lift that up. Next, what you want to do is unpeg the legs from the arms, they hook into place, and just rotate it down, and I believe... Okay, no, it's not a double joint. Okay, there you go. And then separate the legs, pull down the foot like so, and close up the back. You can just leave it like this if you want. I like to wrap the whole thing around so it looks like that. And there you have the legs done. You just want to leave them down like that. And uh, let's see, what else? You want to pull out the arms from inside here which is easier said than done. And you can straighten out the fist. Take the wheel right here, and you're going to pop that off to the side. It pegs into the side right here. Don't know if you can see that. It pegs in right there to the body. And you just unpeg that like so. It's a pretty good peg. And then, let's see, bring the arms down like so. And then the blue panel on the arm, you want to rotate to the other side like so and straighten out the arm like so. Do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna do that quickly, 
like so. And then take the body section, flip out this little panel, rotate this down, revealing the face. Take this section right here, and you want to rotate that around like so. Take this little panel and just flip it down like so. And then you're going to accordion the body. Oh, and uh, rotate the turret like so. And you can see this little gap right here. That's where the bar will lead in. And then move the body down. Let's see. You got, you got this midsection of the chest that you fold down. So let me try that again. You got this midsection right here that you fold down like so. And then you fold down the whole thing. And that will collapse into the body. And there you have Scout Class Breacher in his robot mode. Very complex transformation. I would not really recommend this to a kid, but to a collector, I think it's very nice. It's actually kind of fun in a way. It's a little tricky, and sometimes you're going to get stuck on stuff. If you have had this figure for a while, and you just picked it up and decided to transform it, you're going to be confused by a couple of things if you did not read the instructions or whatever, and you're just going off by memory. But still pretty cool. You can attach the gun to his hand. It attaches to the fist right here. It's got that bar system. Or you can take this and plug it on the back here. So you got a couple of turrets on the back. Which is very nice. Now, the ironic part is he still reminds me of the Universe Classics Onslaught. He's definitely different than that, but just the alt mode. I don't know, there's something about this that reminds me of Onslaught. Which is funny because this was repainted into Brawl. And I believe they were going to do another repaint in grey, but they never released that. I could be wrong about that. Anyways, the detail is very nice. You got some white paint applications. You got more of that red some black added throughout the uh, the figure, which is really nice. The head is so good. I like that face. Just a lot of detail on this guy. I think that this guy doesn't really need to be in your movie collection. If you guys want to put it to your Universe Classics collection, I think he would fit in pretty well. I mean, he's got enough detail to where he kind of collides into both realms. He's got these large chunks on him, but he's got a lot of detail in that too, so very nice. Um, size comparison, I'm going to size compare him with a modern deluxe class figure, so you can see that. And a modern Legends class figure, so he is a little bit taller than a modern Legends class figure, so that's good. Um, articulation is... Actually, very good. He's got a ball joint in the shoulder right here. He's got a rotation joint right up here. He's got ball joint in the head. But I think there's something wrong with the neck on mine because it doesn't seem to want to turn this way too well. Um, ball joint in the elbow, very nice. Ball joint in the wrist. I believe there's rotation. If you move this back, this little flat back, you can rotate the waist like so. Although that will click into place, and it is a little off-center, but you can still do that. You got a ball joint in the hip right here, you got a knee bend, and the foot's on a ball joint too. Really, the only complaint that I have with this figure is it might be a little too complex for some people, and also this flap seems to be loose. It doesn't just flop around constantly, but I usually just see it lifted to the side like that so that's something to watch out for also it's a little hollow in the back here but one you can take the gun place it here and you wouldn't have that problem and given the fact that there's a lot in the transformation i i'm actually surprised that there's a lot less going wrong with the figure than there is i still stand to say this is a very nice scout class figure and i definitely recommend it it's it's good it really is good so with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, Fistball.